brothers and sisters, God said, and God is his kings and queens. How are you doing? This is the last and final part of the second series. There will be a third series next week about sex and love. I'm telling you, we cannot put all this in one, one album. We cannot do it. It has to be done in many different sets. This is the second series. Next week, it will be a third series because sex is based on man, woman, spirituality, spirituality physical, physicalness, mentalness, metaphysics, scientifically we just can't put it all together in one aspect in one ball we've got to get to understand why we behave a certain way even though we know to a limit that we were taught sex majority of the masses of black people I ain't worried about white folks and everybody else they got their own teachings I'm talking about the, melan the dark melanin race we were hindered and stopped through slavery not how to make a mystical sex they forced us to have sex not I not you but our ancestors when they can have a spiritual sex encounterment, those who knew it possessed it. Those who didn't know was forced by the slave master or they had to have sex because when they were married, their sexual act couldn't be the way they wanted to be. Especially if they lost their language, their heritage, or their culture, if you will. So remember this. We've got to get back knowing love, knowing our sexuality. We got to get back. See, they sitting out here putting all these things out on TV and, and telling you this is how it's supposed to be. First of all, fuck that shit. You wasn't on this planet first. Our ancestors was on this planet first. The melanin race was here on this planet here first. Thousands and thousands of years of knowledge. See, y'all are too institutionalized and in believing they got all the answers. Listen, I'm, I'm going to throw something at you real quick. Here we go. Here we go. Don't you know less than a hundred years ago, black folks used to cook for white folks. <laughs> I, I, I want you to listen. I want you to listen. Now, you, of course you have white folks that cook, but the majority of masses of people, black people, was cooking for white folks. Even in modern time, you got black folks cook for white folks. Now, you got all these culinary art schools and these white folks trying to teach you how to cook their way how to cook. Because I'm gonna tell you something what I do. I, I love pastries and sweets and stuff like that. Without a shot of a doubt, but what I tend to do is I will go shopping in a, a black owned pastry shop. And then I will go into an all white owner pastry shop. And I would taste the difference, taste the food. And there's a difference between the two. If you haven't done that, that tells me a lot that you don't know nothing about the opposite of these people. If you just go, oh, well, I don't, I'm not gonna eat no white folks food, then you ain't learning nothing. 
You ain't learning nothing about the enemy. You need to try any food out. Some of their food is good as a motherfucker. And some black people's food tastes nasty. Oh, you thought all black people's food tastes good? No, they don't. Now, the reason why I use an illustration is because they're trying to tell you how to have sex. You get what I'm you get my point? They on social media and all this thing telling you BFF, you can have sex with your friend, and then you can have them. Uh, a husband over here, and uh, you don't need no husband. You can you can have multiple uh, people to have sex with before you uh, decide to fall in love. But what you did was polluted yourself. You see, they're not telling you you're polluting yourself. You see, they're not telling you that. It's a, cop, I mean, a possibility you could catch some kind of disease messing with all these people. Now, they will tell you in their commercials, we got a pill for that. We can inject you with, 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 with vaccines. We can stop you from having a baby. We can give you a shot. Now, you injecting all this vaccine in Popping all these pills, polluting your body, polluting the gift, polluting the womb, polluting the blood, and you polluting it deep. And then you want to figure out why your children acting crazy and psychotic with all these chemicals in your body. You ain't thinking like this. You thinking the way they want you to think. That's why you need to re-educate yourself out of the system of things because they're not helping you like that. Let me tell you another thing before we get back into Bobby Hemmick, a whole new Bobby Hemmick video. Let me tell you another thing. You know they prolong your death. They give you poison to kill poison that's already in you. And then your body begins to get sick. So then they give you another poison. Huh? They give you another poison. Cancer's poison. They give you radiation, which is poison. Huh? You're suffering. They're going, well, we'll, we'll, we're making it easy for you. Now, if you catch the cancer, get it out early, that's a beautiful thing. That means you ain't got to go through all this processing. Right? Right. Now. But you need to know that in the ancient times, the body can heal itself and destroy the poison. You see, we don't know that because we are not in and not studying scientifically the ancient civilized ways of how to use vibrations, use the energy that truly is in our body and who we are. Now you're asking yourself, what they got to do with sex and love? Vibration, balance, energy, chakras. All this is dealing with sex. All this is dealing with love. Haven't you been watching the videos? Haven't you been writing down the information so you will understand all these information that I'm telling you that's based on your body and its maturity? You understand? So let's get back. Let's get into body in it. This video about Bobby Hemmett, I mean, using Bobby Hemmett, thank you, Bobby Hemmett, is about cultivating the woman's sexual energy. That's what the base is about. We have to understand the woman is powerful. But, 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 but when you think like the European man, and, 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 and there you got some cool niggas. You got coons who think he's supposed to be old power in the woman. 
No, you're not. You're not supposed to be doing it. Because you believe man was created first. You don't know that. You don't know that. That's religion's type of concept. You don't know that. See, I used to think like that many years ago. Until I started doing research and I became a new creation, you see. Now, even when you meet women that are on their lower self, you got to have patience with them, you see. Because they don't know no better. And then sometimes you might have to let them know if they've been disrespectful. Let them know what time it is. In a respectful manner. Because if you use hostile, hostile aggression, they're not gonna, they're not gonna back down. They're gonna be like, what? Excuse me, what? Motherfuck you, this and all kind of names gonna come out. And then somebody could possibly get hurt. Now, you gotta use a certain type of aggression and a way of a, 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 a vibration when you're talking a certain level, but at the same time, you also gotta use your expression on your face to be able to connect with that woman when she's being in beast mode. And if she's in beast mode and she can't hear you, she can't see you, walk away. Because you ain't gonna get through that. It's a waste of time. And if you're talking about what that got to do with sex, it's got a lot, a lot to do with sex because all that is dealing with expressions and dealing with the frequency of flowing, naturally flowing, and our vibrations between each other. The eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth. You hear me now? You hear me now? Now let's get into it. Bobby Hammond. Masturbation from these tantric books, but we do have it in the Kama Sutra and we do have it in a book called Sexual Secrets where it's found in the, the Asian cults and different things like that, they still do it. But they don't hit the female masturbation because female masturbation is not like male masturbation. Ejaculation is not orgasm. Ejaculation is a release of vital fluids. Orgasm is different. Now, a male can have an orgasm. You just have to breathe, keep breathing and sucking up the vital libra in the cum. And even if you do bust it up, the energy goes up, and you can have the orgasm. It's so totally different. You see what I'm saying? It's totally different when you can have the, uh, your boy Montauk, she, she has a book out on how to become a multi-orgasmic male. Montauk, she is book. But a woman has orgasms, and so therefore, the emancipation can be formed as a, a form of welfare and energy. Now we got a group of sisters down in Greensboro, North Carolina. One girl started doing it, she mastered it. She can master it, think about it, and got a whole motherfucking house and moved straight out of the goddamn project. <laughs> and she kicked it too. So when she got that, the other sisters started masturbating and focusing on what they needed. <clears throat> and they got what they wanted. And this is also a form of curing because that, that, that the uh, orgasm release oxytoxins. So a lot of times you get sick. Let's imagine what we're up. Imagine you're young, your hormones race out of control. Then as you slow, as you get older, the hormones slow down, and then after that you die. So that means that the Kundalini energy is only the vital life force in you. So what you have to do is cultivate the Kundalini energy. In this particular case for women, you got to keep that pilot lit. And it don't matter if you're 95 years old and you don't need no goddamn nigga. Because the patriarchal thing, this is a this is a warfare going on between patriarchy and matriarchy. So a lot of the stuff on masturbation was stricken from the records and destroyed from the tomb because they need it's a powerful thing that the sisters can do based on masturbation and concentration. And you can break through other dimensions and you can manipulate the physical realm just through masturbation. You see what I'm saying? So now, to get on another level, sometimes enjoy with your hand can be tired, so go get you some toys. Sisters, you want to know knowledge. I'm giving you goddamn knowledge. I ain't giving you shit you want to hear. I'm giving you shit that is in the realm of knowledge. See, that's, that's what knowledge is. 
You don't shouldn't pay a motherfucker to come up in here and give you some goddamn shit that you already know. It should be cutting edge and always extreme. Remember now, the Egyptians were the devil to most Christians. So that's the difference why we never push the envelope. We are marginalized and at a deficit, which means we never go be it's not on. We never go beyond what we feel comfortable is thought. Everybody's not trying to be crazy. You see what I'm saying? This goddamn only way to do is to laugh at this bullshit down here. You know what I'm saying? Is to look at this damn shit down here and say, fuck it all. That's right. That's right. Because you can't get rid of it. That's right. It ain't yours to get rid of no way. Because this is somebody else's society imposed upon you. So your problems is the problem. Your problems and your traditions and your more ways, more ways, and your thoughts are given to you by some other motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So at least you should say, fuck all that. Right. Have a disrespect for all of it. That's right. That's right. And the ultimate goal is to have a disrespect for humanity itself. That's right. And why do I say that? Because humanity is over. Right. These hormones that's breaking out of your body is given away to a new entity. That's right. And the more and more you focus on the humane aspect, the more and more you suppress that new entity. That's where we're going tonight with this shit. That's right. Now y'all stick with me back because we're going to get down with this shit tonight because I got to go into the real science that's on the table and it ain't no bullshit based on some stuff that's based on study. Let's go. It's, we have the theory, we have the study, and we also have the practical application and we got the goddamn results tonight. All right. Serious business. All right. You see what I'm saying? These goddamn pounds was gained <laughs> for some real shit. A complete celebration <laughs> of some shit that happens. I don't give a damn, like I tell you. Okay. Shit, I, fuck it, I walk around the house naked. Right. <laughs> motherfucker said, God damn man, you had that on yesterday. I said, no, motherfucker, I put this on you came over. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I ain't wearing it yesterday. I was naked until you came up in this motherfucker. <laughs> I just went and get in the clothes as a uniform just to greet the civilization. For another goddamn level, man. Shit. No, I be naked I, all the time now. You know? You know, shit. Now, masturbation is another thing, so get you some toys. Y'all know what the toys is. Take y'all asses down to 42nd Street. It's amazing now. You said that motherfucker that crazy. I want to ask you a goddamn question. You go all over this goddamn white New York, and you can find sex shops, but there ain't none in Harlem. Yeah, and ain't none downtown Flatbush, huh? Oh, she knows. They got one now? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Harlem on the move. You got to let them preachers line out. You let them preachers line out. They pick at your stuff. <laughs> them no good bastards. But why is this? Mm -hmm. Why is well, oh, there you go. Because they're going to sense. That's right. they shit up here. The white people are now the primitive. When I say primitive, I'm talking about primal. And you are now the pilgrims, the Mennonites, the Calvinist Baptists. But so stick up your ass. And the more conscious you are, the more fucked up you are with all this righteous shit. Right? Come on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Talk to us. That's right. Instead of getting you some paddles and some handcuffs. <laughs> God damn it. It's a ram of fucking imagination. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's only one way to stop the Asian process in the female skin. And that's calm on your face. <laughs> Spermatosis on the face of your That's it. A milkshake, goddammit. A milkshake. It's the only way to stop the aging process. You can even reverse the aging process. You know, you let a motherfucker shoot one inside the eyeball. The aging process. Get Dr. John Morford's book, Ecstasy Through Tantra. All the vitamins, the, the proteins 
and shit up in that milkshake. Right? So I face lift. You got a face lift. Right? Slob on that log. Right? Choke that chicken. Right? You got a face lift. The trunks are the paddywhacker. Those big sticks. And that's what reverses the Asian process is to come. Milkshake. You see what I'm saying? That's what does it. Also for different magical reasons. There's all kinds of things you can do with dog on uh, uh, cum and vaginal fluids. It's a whole other round. You see what I'm saying? Uh, here's a good one too. This one here is advanced. This is the uh, secrets of Western sex magic by Prada UD. Now this is more than just Tantra. This is dealing with that magic. Secrets of Western sex magic by Prada F-R-A-T-A-E-R, Frater, Afraid of U-D. Um, this is also, uh, you can, uh, that one, Modern Sex Magician and Sexual Alchemy. Donald Tyson. Donald Tyson. So now, like I said, if you're alone, you get with the masturbation, take it to another level. And get you some toys. You know what I'm saying? Toys, goddammit. Get you some toys and go to the other level with this shit. I'm trying to tell you what time it is. That's why the crockers got you in church. Yeah. That's why you in church. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Looking at motherfuckers, want to get with motherfuckers. Your spirit telling you what time it is. Right. But the doctrine coming from damn female haters right. 2,000 years ago. That's right. Constantine and Rome. You see what I'm saying? That kind of shit. So you got to get that type of stuff. But get you some milkshake going on if you want to get your goddamn face right. right. See what I'm saying? That kind of stuff. Healing too. Any kind of healing and stuff, you put that, that milkshake on it. You be good to go. Now, going right along. Y'all all right? Yeah. All right, now. So, uh, um... Another aspect is visualize what you got to do right. upon orgasm, and that's a powerful energy. Those are, are cosmic explosions. Those are cosmic explosions also, too. You know what I'm saying? You know, our shit is just straight up, you know, you know, that's ejaculation. You lose energy. You see what I'm saying? You lose energy and stuff like that and all. So, it's a difference between orgasm and stuff. And that makes up, like they said, when it was handing out superiority, we got the shot in on the stick. Not unless you deal with the whole tantric thing. The whole, the whole tantric aspect and all, then you can master that particular science. But let's go on, we got a lot to cover here. A lot to cover. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. When you're visualizing doing masturbation, um, all right, now talk to me. Now. When you're visualizing doing masturbation, um, all right, now talk to me now. <laughs> Let's say you have a goal, you want to hold it while you're masturbating. Yeah. And as you as you are um, climaxing, yeah. you're holding that thought, what right. you want to achieve. That's it, yeah. Is there a certain time limit? I mean, how long does this go on? Uh, Should you practice this like how often? Well, we just well, let the orgasm, you know, orgasm, man, so we get the keys out. Just hold it as much as it's a long uh, orgasm. You know how you go. <laughs> you come down. All right. You see what I'm saying? Now that you multiply orgasm or something like that. But you know, just the length of the orgasm would do it also. Well, well, well. We almost at the end of part two, the second series. And um, I bet you ain't about the money was expecting that. Right? Understanding masturbation, understanding, using its, the, 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 the milkshake's power, understanding. Now, some women already knew this because somebody in their family taught them or somebody they knew taught them the power of um, the milkshake, if you will. You see, brothers and sisters, gods and goddesses, let me just explain this to you real fast 
what they have done, the Western world, is took away your power. That's all. Let's let's stop playing games. Let's stop. Let's lay it out, lay the cards out. You are following the Western world. You are following a European concept, but they stolen our ancient secrets. They stolen the ancient secrets and they using it for themselves. But telling you that you need to go to church, telling you you gotta behave a certain kind of way, telling you this is taboo, telling you this is that ain't no good for you. Oh, you got to stay on the natural path. Then behind closed doors, they're stealing your secrets, if you will. Telling you how to live and how to act, when to talk, when to speak, how to have sex. Look at they use pornographic films and they use it in a peaceful mode. Huh? They don't use it in um, a spiritual conception. They don't use it in a vibration of using the energy. They used the pornographic film as a beast. Abusing the woman. Now there's some pornographic films out there that a lot of them have now begun to change the way they were thinking and show the woman in a mag magnificent sexual desire type of way. Not two and three men abusing this woman. You understand? Not two and three women abusing this man. There's some women are now trying to go, the word I might, I'm gonna use, they'll say classy, classic porno. You know, this is not a beastful, aggressive type of pornographic film. I, I've seen a few of them myself in my younger days. And if you ain't used to it, you'll be like, oh, this is corny. It's got a storyline and so on and so forth. You want to just go right into it, into the um, sex part, which that's beast mode. And this is why a lot of our energy, we are our lower selves, not I. I used to be like that, but I trained myself not to be this way. I hope that you got a good understanding on part two of the second series. Next week, Sunday, will be part three. Listen, I told you, I don't know how many parts it's gonna be. We, we were talking about the vibrations. We talked a little bit about balance. We barely talked about jealousy. We talked about the heart chakra. We, heard, we talked about the penis shocker, the vagina shocker. Understand this. So brothers and sisters, gods and goddesses, kings and queens, the whole object of class is to re-educate the way we think, the way how we feel about our bodies. I can't go to sleep with no underwear on. I can't go to sleep with that on. It's unnatural. It's an unnatural thing. I go and lay in the bed. I like to walk around free. Some of you cover up because you cover up with shame. You feel ashamed of yourself. You, you're, not, you're not natural with yourself. You don't free. You don't, you're not free with yourself. You got to explore sex on different levels. And let it flow naturally. Don't be beastful about it. Come out of the beast mode. And how you come out is you got to train yourself. Reconstruct your mind and become a new creation. See you next week. I'm sure I'm in rock. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bobby, for allowing us to use your video. Bobby Hammett, one of the great scholars. Love him. The sun.
Adam Rice.